it seems appropriate that I close out this ch YouTube chapter with an emergency video that might actually be an emergency. Um, they keep talking on the news about this COVID vaccine by Pfizer that's 90% effective, and that's good, but um, I've, uh, I've found this troubling article on the internet a few days ago, and uh, I'm going to link to the article in the description, just, just to let you know that this isn't some Republican anti-vax bullshit. I get my flu shot every year. But, um... There's there's lots of reports of uh, really nasty side effects with this vaccine that they're uh, touting. Uh, there's two sec there's several sections of this article about several tri trials. I'm going to read the one under Pfizer, and I'm also going to read this one under Moderna because it it said they partnered with uh, with Pfizer on this at some point too, even even though they weren't part of Trump's stupid bull crap but again i'm going to link to the article in the description just to show that this is a legit concern and not some vaccine paranoia but anyway let's see under moderna it says last month luke hutchinson a 44 year old volunteer in the trial said he had a mild fever after taking the first shot of the vaccine and quote full-on covid like symptoms after the second shot, he goes on the list, fever, chills, muscle and joint aches, hands and feet were hot, headaches and coughing. The two other participants said similar side effects. I read that one because it said somewhere that they partnered with Pfizer on this too, but here's the one that's directly under Pfizer. Fever, fatigue, chills, redness and swelling. Last Wednesday, Pfizer said in a report that some participants in the company's late-stage trials had experienced mild side effects after getting the first shot of the vaccine, and the fewer participants reported side effects after taking the second shot. Systemic events, fatigue, headache, chills, muscle, and joint pain were reported in small numbers of younger recipients of the second shot. Pfizer said in a report published by the New England Journal of Measure medicine that no systemic severe events were reported by older recipients of this vaccine candidate. A few volunteers in the younger group reported redness and swelling at the injection site. Now I've been cautious about COVID as anybody. I've worn masks at every place that has required them. I've washed my hands before leaving the house every time whether I'm going to a restaurant or not. I myself actually have an underlying con condition, so um, so I'm safeguarding for COVID like hell. But um, I I would much rather die from the virus itself than die from taking the vaccine. So I'll admit I'm not a medical expert. I'm not saying what to do here, but I would suggest if you like me have an underlying condition. Maybe consult your doctor before taking this vaccine once it's distributed, because those sound like some pretty serious side effects. Like, if you had to go through that, is the, is the vaccine worth it? It's just confusing. But, as I promised, now that Trump is gone, this, this will be my last video. I just felt I had a, a duty to the people to warn people. Of, of the severity of the side effects this vaccine is bringing since uh, Pfizer is not reporting this to the news media. Again, I will link to the article in the description for you could check it out at your own description. And this is goodbye.